Money. Number one, our crony chief, Mark Richards rides. Number two, Barton Bank, Richard Dunwoody. Sadly, Cav on target doesn't take part. Number four, Casting Time, ridden by Hugh Davis. Five, Dakin's boy, Peter Skidmore. And six, Forrest's son, the mount of Adrian Maguire. And here's how they bet. Barton Bank is the 11 to 10 on favourite. Forrest Sun is 2 to 1. Dakin's boy, a 9 to 2 chance. Our crony chief on 40s. And casting time, the outsider, 100 to 1. They're all quoted. Barton Bank attempt to make all the running. He has a front run in the past. A slight concern is that one or two of these fences that I've uh, seen him jump has been a bit low at them. But uh, as you said, let's see what happens here over the first safely and uh, so on the others. Barton Bank leading from Dakin's boy in second place and then Forrest Sun showing third and they come to the second of the 19 they jump and, uh, but it was casting time and made a mistake there didn't lose that much momentum Barton Bank leading then they jump two from in second place Dakin's boy and Forrest Sun is third and then casting time and uh, our crony chief is fifth of the five as they make their first right-handed turn in this triple pin Feldham novices chase come down towards fence number three. Four fences on this stretch of the track to be jumped. It goes plain fence, open ditch, and then two plain. So it's Barton Bank leading from Dakin's boy in second place. Dakin's boy getting a little bit closer to Barton Bank as they come down to the third, and they ride at it now. Good leap by the leader, Barton Bank, from Dakin's boy in the yellow on the right. Forrest Sun with the white sleeves, and then the red cap of casting time, the white face on the left, our crony chief. And uh, they jumped that safely as well. So it's Barton Bank, which have done Woody, 79 winners this season, leading from Peter Skidamore, Dakin's boy, 60 winners this season, the yellow colours, Peter is. Forrest Sun's back in third, Adrian Maguire, 49 winners this season. Hill Davis rides casting time in the picture there, but we concentrate on the leading three as they go to the last on the far side for the first time. Good leap by the leader. And it's Barton Bank from Dakin's boy in second, and then Forrest Sun in third, a gap of three lengths to casting time and one back to our crony chief. The leader is Barton Bank by a couple of lengths to Dakin's boy in second. And the other's getting a little bit closer. The pace not that strong, certainly good enough, but not that strong. Um, this could help Barton Bank. The leader, Barton Bank, then heading into the home straight for the first time towards the seventh. Did he jump it well? Mark you, so did the others. And come towards fence number eight. As they come down to it, Barton Bank jumping it in the lead. From Dakin's boy and Forrest and casting time, another slight mistake there. Come down towards the ninth. This will be the last next time round. And you favourite backers would want Barton Bank to be going just as easily next time round, no doubt. But Dakin's boy within a length is in second, and then Forrest Sun. Uh, that's some um, four lengths detached from casting time. And then our crony chief. So they pass us. Race past the enclosures with a circuit to go. And it's Barton Bank leading. And the last three, Barton Bank by length to Dakin's boy. They swing right-handed and head to the water jump. Forrest Sun just getting a little bit closer now. And the two outsiders getting a little bit detached. This is fence number 10, the water jump. And the leader safely over. Barton Bank leading them. They've completed a circuit. And it's Barton Bank with Dakin's boy the outside. Forrest Sun definitely getting a little bit closer. Dakin's boy a little bit skew if on landing, but safe. Two more open ditches to be jumped in this race. The next one they take is one of them, and it's Barton Bank coming to it. Pops it well from Dakin's boy. Forrest Sun not as fluent as he has been at some of them, and the other two are getting uh, well detached now. The leaders swing right-handed into the back straight. They've got seven more fences to jump, and it's Barton Bank, every post a winning one. Bowling along in front by length to Dakin's boy in second place, a length and a half back to Forrest Sun, who's uh, certainly closing on them. This, uh, these three a long way clear of our crony chief. Barton Bank, the even money favourite. Forrest Sun at 7 to 4, Dakin's boy at 9 to 2, and the 50 to 1 shots. Well, our crony chief is just getting a little bit closer, but casting time is uh, virtually detached and all but pulled up. In fact, it's going to be. 
That's seven out, and uh, Barton Bank over the leader from Dakin's Boy and Forest Sun, and then our Curly Tube. So we're just down to four horses to finish. If they all jump well, I hope they do. This is the last ditch as they come to it. Barton Bank spring heeled at it. Good leap from Dakin's Boy, and then Forest Sun. And uh, if he gets round, our Crony Chief will pick up about uh, 1,300 pounds. Coming down towards the fifth last, and it's Barton back the inside. Another fine leap by the novice. Dakin's boy in pursuit. Forrest Sun just being niggled along now, and uh, Barton Bank keeping up the momentum, coming down towards the fourth last. Barton Bank pops over it. Dakin's boy and Forrest Sun. Uh, they're a distance clear of our Crony Chief. They start the turn out of the back straight, and Dakin's boy trying to make a race of it, getting a little bit closer to Barton Bank, but that's not extended. Forrest Sun's in third, again trying to get closer, but uh, Barton Bank sitting comfortably and pretty in front by length to Dakin's boy and Forrest Sun, both being niggled along. This is the uh, turn into the home straight. They'll soon be levelling up towards the third last. In this triple print, Feldham Novice's chase. Barton Bank coming to it, comes to it. Oh, he gets low and he goes. Barton Bank goes and Forest Sun goes as well. So that fence has claimed uh, two there. This leaves the race to Dakin's boy and they come down towards the second last. And Dakin's boy, he makes a mistake there. Peter Scudamore looks around, can't believe that Forest Sun isn't in attendance. And they come down towards the uh, final fence to Dakin's boy. Our Crony Chief is over the second last. One to jump for Dakin's boy, comes to it. Got to get over it. He does so. Dakin's boy is going to take it. Dakin's boy is uh, clear of uh, some 25, 30 lengths. Here comes our Crony Chief to the last. He pops over, suddenly fourth place becomes second place. And at the line, Dakin's boy is the winner. Dakin's boy takes it. And coming up for second place will be our crony chief and he's going to take second place just passing the line now there's our winner dakin's boy of this the triple print feldham novices chase the 92 shot and the whole complexion of the race obviously changed when that fall with uh, forest sun and barton bank at the third last and there is forest sun well there, there is barton bank he's okay and so too i'm pleased to say that uh, forest sun and adrian mcguire are on their feet as well, well First number five, Dakin's Boy at 92. And second number one, our crony chief returned at 50 to 1. Only two finished. Number two, Barton Bank, was the even money favourite. A non runner was number three, and five ran.